Hi guys, it's Jennifer Dillon from Food Thinking Again, along with the wonderful Kristen Booker. Hello! So what we're doing today is we are going to do fish steamed in banana leaves. And this is so simple and is so versatile that um, you can do this at barbecues, you can do this at a dinner party, this is really exciting. So you can use any kind of fish to do this. You can, anything you have around, anything that's fresh, the only difference will be, of course, like depending on the thickness of the fish, is a little bit on the cooking time. But fish across the board cooks pretty quickly. What I have here, this is a two pound uh, filet of bluefish. And the reason why that I chose bluefish was because it's local to New York. Um, and it was, and it just looked amazing today when I was at the fishmonger. So I'm gonna cut this into portions um, and then we're gonna season it. So now that our fish is portioned out nicely, um, this is a gigantic piece of fish. Like this is enough fish to feed about six people. Um, my, my secret, secret plan is that with the leftovers, I'm gonna use the fish in a salad, very much like a tuna fish salad. Um, <clears throat> so this is a little bit difficult for me to give you exact uh, measurements on the recipe because it's really about sprinkling um, across the top. So what I have here is turmeric, which is a wonderful spice. And we're just gonna sprinkle it across the top of the pork. And then what I have here, this is just red chili powder. Also, you're gonna sprinkle less of it because you don't wanna you don't wanna hide like I, you know, the thing about fish is I like my fish to taste like fish. And this is so fresh that it's gonna be delicious and clean. And then I'm just gonna take salt, this is kosher salt, I'm gonna do the same thing, sprinkle it over. And then I'm gonna use my hands, because like I said, sometimes you have to use your hands. And I'm just gonna rub it in to the flesh of the fish. We're gonna set this aside for one second, and then what we're gonna do after I wash my hands, I'm just gonna wrap them in banana leaves. Like you could do it in a wok that had a little bit of water on it with a bamboo steamer, and you would just put the banana leaf in the bottom of the bamboo steamer, and then the piece of fish on top, and then layer it up that way. You can do it that way. Um, you can wrap them the way you're gonna wrap them, put them on a barbecue. You can wrap it up and put it in the oven, which is what we're gonna do, because I figured that everybody's got an oven, not everybody has a wok, and you know, I live in New York City, so God knows I'd love to have a barbecue, but I don't really have access to one all the time. So, uh, banana leaf is actually not that difficult to find. Um, it's used in a lot of cuisine. It's used in Asian cuisine. It's used in Mexican cuisine. Um, and it just comes in a packet. They sell it in one pound portions, which is a lot of banana leaf, let me tell you. But, so you're just gonna clip it, and then it just separates really, really easily. Um, the only other thing you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need some cooking twine that we're gonna use to tie up the packets once we're done. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the banana leaf, and in my hand here, I have a, it's a hot crushed mustard sauce. Um, you could just actually mix up uh, like a whole grain mustard and lemon juice to get the same effect. I just had this left over from the last time I did this, so waste not, want not. Um, you're just gonna put a little, like maybe a teaspoon, like on the top of this. It's just gonna help season the fish as it steams. Then you're just gonna fold in the sides, much better. Over the top, over the top. You're gonna take your piece of string, tie it like a present, because who doesn't love presents, particularly fish presents. Tie it off, and done. Here is your fish packet. Done and done. So we're gonna just put this in the pan. Like I said, you could put that right on a barbecue if you wanted to, um, which is totally an awesome way to do it. So, so as not to torture you guys, we're gonna tie up the rest of these <laughs> and be back in one second. <laughs> Okay, so through the magic of television, all of our packets are wrapped. And uh, we're now gonna put them in a 425 preheated oven for seven to 10 minutes. Um, the, the bigger pieces here, they're, even though they're you know, pretty decent size, they're still not that thick. So we're gonna start with seven minutes, um, which should be more than enough time. If you're cooking on a barbecue, they may cook quicker, and on the barbecue, you do wanna turn them. In the oven, you don't need to, and you don't need to in a steamer at all. Alrighty, so our fishy little gift packets have uh, come out of the oven. It was eight minutes, actually. We did it. I took one out a minute ago, and it was done enough for me, but maybe not enough for some people. So I erred on the side of caution, um, which is always kind of a good thing to do, particularly if you're going to do it like in a dinner guest situation. So then you just pick up a packet, 
Um, you can put it on the plate. Now you have a couple of different serving options here. You can serve them wrapped up and let your guests, you know, unwrap them. You, or you can take them out of the banana leaf entirely if you want to. Uh, I kind of like them in the banana leaf on the plate. It helps like contain the sauce and the juices, particularly like obviously you would be serving this with something else. Um, we're going to have it with some salad. Um, you can serve it with rice. Um, what you can't smell is that you can you get a wonderful scent from the banana leaf itself and you can smell the mustard and it's, and it's sort of like this ocean freshness. So breaking open the fish for you, you can see that it's moist and it's flaky. Um, I always add like I always add a little lemon because you know lemon and fish classic combination <laughs> so you know but you can give it you know let you put a piece of lemon on the side of the dish let your guests do what they want to do um, but like I said eight minutes moist delicious mm. you get mustard and lemon you get a little kick from the chili we didn't use too much remember um, just to taste the turmeric but above all, you can taste the wonderful, wonderful, fresh, local bluefish, which is what you're looking for. So, all right, guys, that is a fish entree for yourself, for guests, anybody you want to show off to in less than 15 minutes. See you guys next time.